AOPS Volume 1, The Basics, Number 6. Find the sum with a common rational denominator of half raised to negative half power plus 3 over 2 raised to negative 3 over 2 power plus 5 over 2 raised to negative 5 over 2 power. We must apply a few exponential rules to help us solve this sum, which is any number raised to negative n power will be equal to 1 over a to the n power, and a raised to the b over c power will be equal to the square root of a raised to the b power of c. So we can apply these rules to solve the sum of these three terms. Because half raised to the negative half power will be nothing more but 2 to the half power plus 2 over 3 raised to the 3 over 2 power plus 2 over 5 raised to the 5 over 2 power. A trick to find these three reciprocals very easily is by applying a rule. A fraction, such as a over b, raised to any fraction, other fraction, such as negative c over b, has to be negative, will be equal to the reciprocal of this fraction, b over a, raised to c over b power. That is just a trick which I used to find the, the half powers very easily. So with this, we can begin to apply this rule to simplify these three terms. 2 to the half power will be root 2. 2 over 3rd raised to the 3 over 2 power will be root 2 to the 3rd power over root 3 to the 3rd power plus root 2 to the 5th power over, that was a very messy line, over root 5 to the 5th power. And this will be equal to root 2 plus 2 root 2 over 3 root 3 plus 4 root 2 over 25 root 5. And the reason why this is so is because of a little trick, which is a raised, any number raised to the third power square rooted will be equal to a times root a, and the square root of a to the fifth power will be equal to a squared times root a. You might see a pattern here, and I hope that you do understand why, for I am not going to be explaining it in this video. But just as a side note, a, the square root of a to the third power will be the square root of a squared times root a, hence a root a. With this explanation, you can use it to find the rest, such as the square root of a to the fifth power. So moving on with the question, we can apply our rules for summing certain fractions by giving a common denominator and summing the numerator. This will become with a common denominator of 3 root 3, 3 root 3 in the denominator and square root of 2 times square root of 3 times 3, plus 2 root 2 over 3 root 3, plus 4 root 2 over 25 root 5. I am first summing these two terms together. And with this, this will be equal to 3 root 3 in the denominator and in the numerator we will get 3 root 6 plus 2 root 2 plus 4 root 2 over 25 root 5 root 5. And now we can simplify these two terms by giving a common denominator of 3 root 3 times 25 root 25, or 25 root 5. So this will be equal to 3 root 6 plus 2 root 2 over 3 root 3 times 25 root 5 over 25 root 5 plus 4 root 2 over 25 root 5 times 3 root 3 over 3 root 3. This will now be equal to with the common denominator of 25 times root 5 times 3 root 3 will be equal to 75 times root 15 in the denominator. And in the numerator, we will obtain a pretty nasty number, but let, let us go, go along with it. It will be 75 root 30 plus 50 root 10 plus 12 root 6. And we are almost done. I assure you, because the question said we must have a rational denominator, so we can't have root 15 here. So we must cancel it by multiplying root 15 on both sides of the numerator and denominator. So this becomes times root 15 over root 15, which will be equal to 75 times 15 in a denominator. In a denominator, we will get 75 times root 450 plus 50 root 150 plus 12 root 90. 75 times 15 is equal to 1125. And 75 times root 450 will be simplified to 1125 times root 2. 150, well, one, square root of 150 times 50 will be simplified to 250 times root 6 
plus 36 root 10. Hence, the solution to the sum of these three integers for number 6.